and it just came back toward us. So the individual flying the drone is behind me. There is some uh, waves of heat coming off the pavement down there. You'll see that in the video, I believe, will successfully get recorded and be uploaded later live. So we're, I believe, past 2 p.m. here. I'm holding the camera right now, I can't really check. And uh, we don't see any, speaking into the Nikon camera here, we don't see any venting of the tank farm. Normally when they do crowd testing, we'll see some nitrogen venting from somewhere. Starship is on the far side of the tower, that's why we can't really see it. QD is spread open. Wonder why they got the QD spread open, you know? Why wouldn't they? I guess they're gonna they're just testing uh, the launch conditions. In launch conditions they may not have the they might not have the QD closed because they're they'd be getting ready to launch, so they wanna have it open maybe just like they would if they were gonna do the launch. Windy day, sunny day. Perfect day for a launch, actually, everybody. Maybe a little too windy, but um, I think Elon last night in the presentation said they want to focus on um, offshore uh, launches as well, 20 miles offshore, off the coast. So that would have to be uh, developed later on because they don't have, they haven't done any work on the Phobos or Deimos. There was a possibility, uh, you know, they have a big uh, aircraft carrier coming into the port here of Brownsville. Uh, I think in the next several months it's going to be coming in. The Kitty Hawk, maybe it was, the large uh, aircraft carrier that, that that's going to be scrapped. Uh, I know when people buy stuff through Gov Liquidation or wherever they, whoever owns the Kitty Hawk now, if that is the name of the ship, um, a lot of times when they scrap a a military craft they have to make it unrecognizable so during the scrapping process uh, uh, once the scrapping is completed they have to prove that they did uh, destroy it beyond uh, beyond use and beyond recognition so I'm not sure if it can be if it even could be uh, used by SpaceX as a landing facility for the Starship or even for the launch but um, maybe because just like they have the Falcon 9 and they launch, they land those on drone ships. I wonder if the Kitty Hawk or the aircraft, military aircraft carrier, if not this one, maybe another one, could be used as a, a landing pad for one of these either starships or the boosters. That was my, uh, that was one of my, uh, that's one of the thoughts out there. Um, I don't see any cryo liquids on the starship. It looks silvery. I don't see any uh, white anywhere. The booster, I don't see any evidence of any cryo cooling of the Starship or the booster. Um, 
but maybe maybe later on. Ocean Camera Space Corp. OceanCam.space